You may know H&M, but do you know the remarkable tale behind its rise from a farm boy's dream to a global fashion sensation? Only some people know the incredible story of how this brand is now so famous and cool. In today's video, we will discuss the H&M fashion journey. H&M, which stands for Hennes and Moritz Seib, is a big clothing company from Sweden. They're all about fast fashion clothes, meaning they create new trendy clothes quickly. As of June 23rd, 2022, they were active in 75 different places worldwide. They had a whopping 4,801 stores with many people working for them, around 107,375 to be precise. H&M is the second largest clothing store in the world. That's how huge they are. It was started by a person named Erling Person. The boss of the company today is Helena Helmerson. Erling Person, the person behind the famous clothing company H&M, had a regular childhood, just like many of us. He was born and raised in Sweden, a beautiful country in Europe. As a young boy, Erling was a curious and observant kid. He paid attention to what people wore and how fashion changed over time. Little did he know that this curiosity would lead to the birth of a global fashion empire. Let's go back in time to see how H&M became famous. It all started in 1947 when Erling Person opened his first shop in Vasteras, Sweden. He named it Hennes, which means hers in Swedish. Back then, they only sold clothes for women, but they didn't stop there. In 1964, they opened another store in Norway. In 1968, something big happened. Erling Person bought Moritz Wittfors, which sold hunting clothes in Stockholm. This made them add men's clothes to their collection, and that's when they became Hennes and Moritz. They became so successful that in 1974, they decided to be part of the Stockholm Stock Exchange. It's like they became a big player in the stock market. Then, in 1976, they took their fashion to London, opening their first store outside Scandinavia. Expanding all over Europe was just the beginning. They went online in 1998, selling their clothes on hm.com, which they registered in 1997. And the big moment was in 2000 when they opened their first store in the United States, right on Fifth Avenue in New York City. This was their way of saying hello America and spreading their fashion worldwide. In 2008, H&M, the famous clothing company, spiced things up by adding a new category, home furnishings. They made this exciting announcement through a press release. This meant that they would now sell items to decorate your home in addition to trendy clothes. Imagine having the H&M style not just in your wardrobe, but also in your living room. Initially, these home furnishing goodies were available online, so you can browse a wide range of stylish items for your home on H&M's website. But as time passed, H&M decided to take things to the next level. They started opening special H&M home stores all around the world. This made it even easier for people to get their hands on these fashionable home decor pieces. H&M continued beyond clothes and home decor, they introduced some fantastic concept stores as well. These include Koss, Weekday, Monkey, and Cheap Monday. These stores were launched as H&M expanded into Asia, and each has a unique style. It's like having a variety of fashion flavors to choose from under the H&M umbrella. H&M's success led to a rapid increase in their store count. In 2011, they were operating 2,325 stores around the globe. A year later, they added 304 more stores, bringing the total to 2,629. Imagine all the fashion choices you'd have with so many stores. H&M, the Swedish fashion retail giant, has a rich history of collaborating with renowned designers to create exclusive collections that captivate fashion enthusiasts worldwide. These partnerships testify to H&M's commitment to making high-end fashion accessible to a broader audience. In November 2004, H&M did something cool. They teamed up with the famous fashion designer, Karl Lagerfeld. He was known for being super stylish and working with Chanel. Two years later, in 2006, H&M kept up the trend of working with famous designers. This time, they partnered with Stella McCartney from Britain. She was known for making clothes that were good for the environment and look nice. That same year, H&M joined forces with Dutch designers Victor and Rolf. Their collection for H&M had fancy details and playful designs that made their fashion lovers happy. In March 2007, pop superstar Madonna decided to help H&M. She made a collection showing her famous style. This collaboration brought fans of both music and fashion to H&M stores. Later, in November 2007, 
H&M worked with Italian designer Roberto Cavalli. They brought Italian luxury and glamour to their collections. In the spring of 2008, H&M picked a Finnish company called Merameco to design some clothes. It added a unique Scandinavian touch to H&M's collection. In the fall of 2008, H&M joined forces with Comme des Garçons, a Japanese fashion label known for its unique designs. For the spring and summer of 2009, British designer Matthew Williamson made not one but two collections for H&M. One was for women, and the other marked his first time designing for men. It even had swimwear for both guys and girls. On November 14th, 2009, H&M launched a special collection with Jimmy Choo, a famous brand for fancy shoes and bags. They had stuff for both men and women, making H&M feel fancy. In December 2009, H&M worked with French designer Sonia Reichel to make knitwear and lingerie for ladies. It lets more people enjoy her unique style. In 2015, H&M made a big announcement. They said they would work with a famous designer named Olivier Rusting. The next year, in November 2016, H&M did it again. This time they joined forces with another designer called Kenzo. Kenzo was known for using bright colors and crazy patterns. In February 2017, H&M did something different. They partnered with a singer named Zara Larsson. They made a collection described as fun, young, and a bit fancy. It made fans of Zara Larsson and H&M feel confident and stylish. After not working with H&M for a long time, supermodel Naomi Campbell came back in 2017. She did a commercial that talked about women feeling strong. She wore clothes that didn't look too girly or too boyish. It was all about being confident. In April 2018, H&M worked with a designer named Jeremy Scott and the brand Moschino. This time, the clothes were playful and creative. It showed that H&M could do both high fashion and everyday style. H&M also teamed up with a designer named Richard Allen in July 2019. Allen was known for using bold patterns, and his collection made people think of the 1960s. It felt nostalgic and fun. Then, in August 2020, H&M did something new. They worked with a designer from the Arab world, Sandra Mansour. Her collection celebrated Arab culture and had unique and colorful designs. In March 2021, H&M joined forces with a designer named Simone Rocha. Her clothes are known for being elegant and pretty. It added a touch of class to H&M's collection. These partnerships made H&M even more popular and showed that fashion can be for everyone. H&M, the fashion giant, has made strides in sustainability since 2013. They introduced a voucher program, exchanging used garments for discounts, with items repurposed by I, CO, to minimize waste. In 2014, H&M joined forces with Canopy to eliminate endangered forests from their fabric supply chain. The H&M Foundation, founded in 2014 with an initial 180 million investment from the Person family, supports humanitarian and environmental fashion projects, including a recycling technology called the Green Machine. In 2019, H&M halted leather purchases from Brazil due to Amazon rainforest fires, awaiting credible assurance of environmental responsibility. Actress Maisie Williams became a sustainability ambassador in 2021, leading efforts to use recycled or sustainable materials by 2030 and collaborating with the game Animal Crossing. May 2021 saw H&M offering a rental clothing service in the UK, allowing men to rent suits for job interviews, promoting sustainability and success. H&M demonstrates a commitment to eco-conscious fashion and a greener future. In March 2021, there was a big issue involving H&M and China. Some countries, like the EU, UK, US, and Canada, had put sanctions on China because they heard reports about human rights problems in Xinjiang. H&M said they didn't want to use cotton from there and wanted to avoid forced labor. But in China, the Communist Youth League criticized H&M on social media. They said H&M was spreading rumors about Xinjiang cotton, but still trying to make money in China. This made many Chinese people very angry and criticized H&M on social media. Because of this, H&M faced big problems in China. Chinese e-commerce platforms like Penduoduo, JD.com, and Alibaba removed H&M's products. The H&M app disappeared from Chinese app stores, and the ride-sharing app, Daidai, didn't allow people to go to H&M stores. Even two Chinese celebrities who worked with H&M said they wouldn't work with H&M. But in August 2022, H&M started selling things in China again. The US didn't like what China did, but they said China was trying to hurt H&M for talking about human rights abuses in Xinjiang. H&M tried to fix things in China by saying they would rebuild trust and be respectful. However, 
their sales in China dropped significantly in the second quarter of 2021. There's also a problem in the US. Some people say H&M is not telling the truth about being environmentally friendly. They think H&M is pretending to be green when they're not. In March 2022, H&M said they would stop working in Russia because of the war in Ukraine. H&M continues to enjoy significant popularity in today's fashion landscape, and it's poised to maintain its presence in the coming days. H&M is likely to adapt further to changing consumer expectations. This might involve expanding its sustainability initiatives, enhancing the online shopping experience, and continuing to collaborate with high-profile designers. As long as it remains agile in addressing the evolving fashion landscape and consumer preferences, H&M is well positioned to maintain and grow its popularity. Have you ever wondered about the incredible story behind H&M's creation? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon for more fascinating tales like this.